Hello and welcome to this video. This is a brief overview of my book Sight Reading and Harmony, which over the last five years has become the world's number one system of sight reading on keyboard instruments. In 2017, I published, I uh, wrote and published Sight Reading and Harmony, and I introduced a five-tier system of four-part hymns and chorales. Before I go over the fine points of Sight Reading and Harmony, I invite you to go to the uh, description area of this video where you may, uh, you may order the hard copy version of this from my distributor. If you're outside the U.S., it, it might be a little expensive for shipping costs, in which case you might want to purchase the non-printable PDF, which is great for computer screens and for tablets. I would suggest a PDF for everyone, and then also for anyone in the U.S. Uh, where the shipping costs are less, to definitely order your hard copy today. It's a nice spiral-bound uh, book here of over 100 pages. And also I invite you to go to the, uh, the link below to Piano Marvel. Piano Marvel is an excellent piano learning website. You may have heard of it already. They have this complete part four of Sight Reading and Harmony on there that you can practice with their Sight Reading app, which is a great opportunity to learn this. Also, I want to mention my subscription website called The Well-Rounded Pianist, which you can go to, and there are over 1,000 videos on Sight Reading and Harmony alone. So if you become a member of The Well-Rounded Pianist, you will have access to all of the videos in this book and more. As I speak, there's over 2,500 videos on The Well-Rounded Pianist. Okay, so let's get going here. So I told you before, uh, a, a couple minutes ago, the five-tier system of four-part hymns and chorales. This is something that I developed over uh, a period of about two years. And as you, when you open Sight Reading and Harmony, you will see part one. Part one consists of contents, indexes, and bibliography. So you can look up whatever you would like to look up. It has some, also some helpful indexes here or indices for teachers and scholars if they're looking for certain chorales with certain types of cadences. I classify them by cadences. I also have a little bibliography here. And we come to part two. Part two uh, consists of an introduction, essay, and descriptions. And uh, part two is, in general, how to use the book. So it's, it's written in prose, in words, and it explains all the details on how to use sight reading and harmony. And so that's several pages long, a lot of packed with information here. Then after you finish part two on learning how to use the book, then you come to part three, which is general exercises. In part three, uh, we begin with major and minor scales, not in every key, but actually in the keys that are relevant to four-part chorales. And we have scales over here on the left page, and then the chords associated with those scales on the right page, the diatonic chords. We have scales, diatonic chords, scales, diatonic chords. It goes through the most of the most of the scales in the circle of fifths and the circle of fourths. So after that, we come to finger independence exercises. Uh, sight reading wouldn't be complete without learning how to use your fingers well. So these are especially developed finger exercises, finger independence exercises, especially for sight reading hymns and chorales. That's a few pages long. And then we have the circle progression, which is a series of exercises with a special chord progression, which is presented in several different keys. All of the keys that will help you to play uh, hymns and chorales. And then uh, last but not least, in, in part four, we have box common cadences. So we have a whole list of, of all types of cadences that Bach used in his music. 
And these are great for learning because when you learn these cadences and you learn them, you learn to play them naturally, then your sight reading really improves dramatically because cadences are a large part of the formulas which Bach used. Then we come to part four. Part four is the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of sight reading and harmony. This part consists of 150 chorale excerpts and 10 complete chorales. And we open it up here, and the pages are numbered here on the top. It goes from 1 to 150. Now, what the, the way this works is there are five lines on each page. There are five systems on each page. There is a box here. We won't talk about that now, but a, cord, a, a box with chords in it. So each one of these systems, each one of these lines gets progressively more difficult. So you have two parts playing together, the right and the left hand. Then you have also two parts here, but you start to introduce eighth notes and some passing tones. So that's a little more difficult. That's grades three to four. This is grades one to two. Then grades five to six, we add another part. So there's three parts. Then grades seven to eight, there's four parts. And then grades nine to ten, you finally have the chorale excerpt in its original form. So nothing is cut out. So in other words, um, when I wrote this book, I started with the original, and then I deconstructed it and work up the page to the simple. So simple, complex, simple, complex. So what you do is when you, uh, when you have sight reading and harmony and you're working with it, you want to work across. You don't really want to go down unless you're more advanced. But if you're beginning, you want to start with grades 1 to 2, and you want to just work your way through all 150 examples here by playing, I would say, for most beginners, at least three new pages a day of reading it through a few times. And then the way your sight reading develops is by simply doing it, uh, being exposed to it on a regular daily basis and learning how to read. So your note reading will automatically get better if you just simply work through all these examples. Then once you get through to the very end at 150, then you start over again, or you can go backwards. And assuming that you that you've, uh, can do grades one to two really easily, then the next thing to do is you go to grade, the grades three to four line, and you do all of those all for all 150 pages. Then once you learn that really well, then you go to grades five and six, and so forth and so on. And so this whole process actually will take a few years. This is not something that's going to happen overnight, but let me tell you, when you stick with it and you work with this over the course of at least a couple years, your sight reading will dramatically, dramatically improve because you will be learning how to read vertical harmonies. That's the whole uh, goal behind this book is to teach pianists how to read vertical harmonies, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Once you learn that, then you can sight read just about anything. So that's the way that uh, part four works in sight reading and harmony with the progressive five-tier system of hymns and chorales. And then after 150, we come to the end here, we have so we have uh, 10 complete chorales in their original form here. So page 151 consists of a chorale, one of the lesser difficult Bach chorales, four parts. And then we have, uh, these actually get uh, progressively a little more difficult here. So these are 10 complete chorales. If you're able to read the, all of these 10 complete chorales well, then your sight reading will be really good. I guarantee that. So the goal is to work your way up to reading full Bach four-part chorales. So this is, in a nutshell, this is sight reading and harmony 
which over the last five years has been the world's leading system of sight reading. So I invite, I invite you to uh, explore the links below here where you may purchase sight reading in harmony and also join the well-rounded pianist and piano marvel where you can uh, work on this book. So thank you for joining me today and until we meet again.